Hello everyone, this is Monica from Unique Designs by Monica. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create princess dresses using basic shapes on Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. So we're going to start with our polygon tool. And this is going to really determine on how big uh, you want your waist on your dress. So if you want a shorter waist, just like this, you would shorten the uh, polygon. Or if you want a longer slender uh, waist, uh, all you have to do is just manipulate it ever so slightly. So we're going to give it a lo longer waist, like so. And what we're going to do is grab our circle. And this is going to do uh, multiple cuts for us. For the first cut, is going to be the point here. And what we're going to do is going to get it from point to point just like this and what we're going to do is we're going to slice not weld slice there we go now let's get the one in the middle oh wrong we <laughs> wait <laughs> come back come back now are you going to come back hmm that's interesting oh Oh, no, 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 I didn't want it to do that. Alrighty then, let's start all over. No, I want to go back. Can I go back? Alright. Hmm. Alright, if I go... There we go. That was very interesting. I have never had that happen to me before, but if it does happen to you, be persistent. Bring it back. <laughs> So let's just move this layer right here and we're going to get rid of the one in the middle. Now we're going to flip this over, but before we do, always make a duplicate, if, especially if you're going to be working on this as your main design. So we're going to flip this vertically and we're going to bring this shape out here in the bottom forward because I want to make sure how deep the neckline is going to be or the little frills in the front now as you can see my very first attempt i made the the the, the top portion pretty thick and for my second attempt i made it a little thinner so it's a really uh, up to use it's by choice on which how how deep or how thin you would like it for me i actually like the thinner version better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this horizontally center vertically pardon me and then I'm going to grab everything and slice there we go and there's my piece I don't no longer need these pieces so let's bring this back and since I've already done a blue dress a pink dress let's make a yellow dress so let's go with the lighter yellow first and this is going to be our accent color which is going to be a little darker. All right. Just like that. Now we're going to get give it some puffy sleeves or shoulder pads. Not quite sure what they're called. And we're going to just put it here to the end. Now it's going to go from point to point. Just like so. Let's duplicate this. And just make sure that we have this uh, in the center. We're going to do uh, center vertically. Right. So let's move this part out of the way. And we're going to weld. There we go. Now we can put this piece back. Move this to the back. And there we go. Perfect. So far, we got a nice little blouse going. So if you wanted to give it a little bit more details, you can. You can give it nice long sleeves if you want. And by doing that, you can just either use um, a square or another polygon tool. You just have to slice the part portion up here in order to get that nice thin. You know, what? I'm going to show you that after I'm done, how you give it some sleeves. <clears throat> so let's continue with the tutorial and then I'll do any actual editing at the very end so now let's give it a little portion of the dress that that puffy area at the bottom now you can go as long or as narrow as you want for me i kind of like 
it to be a nice puffy dress. So I'm going to make sure that these two are aligned correctly. And I'm going to uh, center horizontally like that. And I'm going to keep that right there. I'm going to just select the back and the bottom and I'm going to weld. And I'm going to send this back. So far, so good. Now, I believe we don't have, uh, you know, we need to give where the little feet are going to go through. So let's take a little portion of the bottom out. Now you can go as high or as low as you want. As for me, I think right there is good. And I'm going to slice. All right, move this back. And let's take all the unwanted areas out. There we go. Now you can still manipulate this any way you wish. If you think that this is just too puffy and you want to narrow it, you can always narrow it. But if you like the way it was, there you go, you can leave it as is. The next step is giving it the little ring areas. These little swirly parts of the dress. I'm sorry, I'm not a fashion major. I am terribly sorry if I'm saying anything incorrectly. And we're going to start with a circle. We're going to duplicate it. And we're and this is where you can make them as deep or as narrow as you want. I actually like them to be like right there. Give it a nice little crescent. And I'm going to make sure that these are aligned pr precisely. So I'm going to do center horizontally. All right, I guess I did a pretty good job. Grab the whole thing and then slice. And that will give me two rings right here. Let me just flip the other one over and I no longer need this. All right, now this is where you can play around. You can go as high or as low. I think I'm gonna just start my ringlets right here. And you can always change it now you can do two, you can do three, you can do six, depending on how many ringlets you want to do. I think I just want to do three for now. And let me see if I can get a little closer. All I'm doing is holding my control and my mouse button, pulling it forward. And I can see that there's a gap here. So I'm going to just make sure that these two areas are touching. Like so. All right. And just to make sure that they are perfectly leveled I'm going to use um, center vertically perfect now I can weld now I'll just make sure that I don't distort anything I don't if I do a mistake of any kind I always have a backup so I want my first ringlet to be up here so I'm gonna take it off here and I'm just gonna shrink this until I am satisfied of where I want it. Ta-da! I'm going to do the same for the second one. Unlock it and just bring it in as much as I want. There we go. Now, I'm going to just change the color. And there we go. We have ourselves a princess dress. Now, if you were going to make it for into a card and you want to give it a little bit more flair, let's give it a nice little headband or a crown of some sort. So we'll start with a circle, duplicate it. Let me move it over here so I don't do any, any weirdness to it. And, and this is going to be just a simple headband. I want to make sure that these are centered correctly. So center horizontally, perfect. And now I'm gonna slice, perfect. Okay, there we go. Now, just to make it match with the puffiness of the dress, I'm gonna put, give it two little circles at the each end. But before I do, I'm gonna change this color to match the dress as well. There we go. Now I'm gonna change this to white. Now you don't have to attach this, but if you want to, and then add two more circles, that's perfectly fine, but it's not necessary. 
There you go. It almost looks like a ballerina princess with this particular little headband. There we go. Now, to add further details to this, <coughs> let's duplicate this. So if you have any kind of problems with the original dress, we're not going to, we can just delete everything that we do over here. So say if you wanted to give it some sleeves, the dress, let's get a polygon tool. Let's actually take it off the lock and elongate it. Not, ne not necessarily, you don't have to uh, take off the point here considering it could be hidden in the back. Whoa. Let's move you back. Now if you wanted to give it a, hmm, now that I moved it back, it's seeing only that. I hit it when that happens. Let's see if I can just move this to the side. There we go. Now if you wanted this the same color as everything else, you don't have to weld it. Are you going to change color? There we go. You can just leave it like that. Let's duplicate this and flip it. There we go. But if you do find that it's poking out on the other end, ooh, I just grabbed the dress. And you don't want to see that, I can totally understand why you would want to remove it. So let's just do that. Let's just cut off the end just a little bit. Let's move this. Let's tilt it just a little. And let's slice. All right. We no longer have to worry about the point sticking out. However, I do need to get behind here. There we go. Let me move back everything. Ta-da! That can never happen. Let's duplicate and flip this. There we go. And now it's a little bit more cohesive. Let's move this back. Let's move this one back as well. And we just put this behind it. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, if you wanted to make a crown and not use this kind of headband, make it to look, make it look more like a queen rather than a, a princess, all you would have to do is do the same thing. Get a polygon tool, just like that. You get some circles, or at least one circle. And what you do is just take it off the lock and position it, giving it just a little bit of a gap right there. Duplicate it. Do the same right here. And slice. Oh, you know what? It's not going to slice until these two are welded together. I keep forgetting that. It has to see it as one, one image. There we go. So we now turned our princess into a queen. Now, if you want to add more details, you can obviously put some circles at the very top of the, the tip there or some, you know, circles on the end. It's really all up to you and how you want to decorate this. You can put it right there, one right there, and one right there. And of course, you just weld everything. Maybe I should just change the tutorial of this to princess to queen. So you have two different ways of making the, uh, this dress using nothing more than basic shapes. You have two different dresses. I mean, they're virtually the same dress. It, there's just small alterations and that you can make yourself. Now, the layers that you have going right here, now, in order for it if you want to save yourself some space on your on your vinyl or your paper always remember 
to just remove the areas that you don't want. You see these layers right here? Right here? You highlight everything. Oh, maybe not this part. You highlight everything and you weld. See how much it cut uh, it cuts down a lot of your your uh, your images over here. And then you have this on one mat and this on the other. You can do the same thing with this, uh, saving you a whole bunch of space. But of course you have white, so you're going to have a, a third mat for that. Thank you so much for stopping on by. If you have any questions, please feel free, uh, free to leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos, I post every Wednesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for stopping on by. Have a beautiful day. Bye.